Hey y'all, it's me, Corinne. I'm back with another information session. So I know it's been quite some time, but this one is a highly anticipated one. I think a lot of people, men and women, can get into the information that I'm going to spill today. Um, so all this information pertains to self-worth. Like I start every information session, I'm Corinne, I'm a mental health professional for the last 13 years. Yes, 13 years. Um, there is not anything that you can say to me that I have not already heard. Okay? So, a lot of people struggle with self-confidence, esteem, and worth. Um, I, myself, have been blessed in that category, but there are not. that's not every day. There are some days where I'm very hard on myself. There are some days where I'm like, this ain't it. This ain't getting it. Um, but these are some things. These are the basics of what this process actually is. Because self-esteem, worth, and confidence are not the same thing. They are actually different. And they build up together the image that you have for yourself. Right? So we're just going to get started with some definitions. Right? So we can all be on the same page. Because if we don't know what these words mean, how are we going to use them? Right? So uh, self-esteem, for one is what we think, feel, and believe about ourselves. Okay? That's what self-esteem is. Self-esteem don't have shit to do with what nobody else feels, thinks, or believes about you. So let's just throw out the narrative that people can affect or people should be based in how you feel about yourself because that's a lie. Right? All this has to do with you. Doesn't include nobody else. Okay? Moving on. Self-worth. The core of our very selves that is tied into how we view our worthiness and our value as a human being. Value and worthiness have everything to do with self-worth. That's not self-esteem, right? Worthiness is what we feel we are worth. Value is how we express that worth, right? So, self-worth is not the same as self-esteem. You get what I'm saying? It's two different things, right? Last but not least, self-confidence is an evaluation of ourselves. Um, no, again, scratch that from the record. Self-confidence is a feeling of conf confidence and competence. So confidence has a lot to do with um, your abilities and your accomplishments. So for a lot of people who don't have, quote unquote, a lot of accomplishments, it's very hard for you to feel confident in your ability to do something. So if I don't, for instance, if I didn't have a, a degree, right, I would feel less self-confident because that's an accomplishment I don't have. And if all my friends have that accomplishment, then I feel incompetent. So confidence has to do with your abilities, achievements, and accomplishments. It has nothing to do with the other two things. Okay, so that is how we will define these three terms who do not get used interchangeably anymore because now we know the difference. And it's important to know the difference because they, they all don't work the same and they all address different parts of yourself. So esteem is your image. Worth is your value system, right? And then confidence is your ability to do things. So that's three different areas of yourself. So your mind, body, and soul. That's two different, three different things, right? So esteem would be body, self-worth would be mind, and confidence, spirit. Well, you actually say self-worth could be spirit, and then um, mind would be confidence. So now that we got that and made it a little bit easier for you to understand, now we can move forward. So here's what the girls are dealing with. Here's what we're struggling with. <laughs> Here's where we get kind of thrown off, right? So we talked about esteem. And this is how we feel, think, or believe in ourselves, right? And this is what everybody says that they have. I have low self-esteem. I don't believe in myself. I don't believe I'm worthy. I have negative self-talk. I think very negatively of myself. That's what you're saying, when you say you have low self-esteem, which very well may be true, right? So with low self-esteem, it's a negative perception, which I literally just said about yourself. 
it is associated with different things or characteristics or feelings of um, resentment, difference, um, just feeling different or unlike everybody else, envy, depression, and pessimism, which is not seeing the glass all the way full. It's just like always head full. It's like, fuck that noise. Now, insecurity, I want to throw some new terms in there. Insecurity is where we hear a lot of people like, oh, I'm so insecure, I'm so insecure, which is different, but similar to low self-esteem. It's a feeling of uncertainty and anxiety. That's what insecurity is. Like, I'm not sure of this situation. Like, I'm not sure of my image, which is your self-esteem. So I'm not sure of how I look. I'm not sure of my abilities. I'm not sure. It's just, it's a feeling of anxiety and you just not feeling like you understand or know what the fuck is going on. Okay. That's what an insecurity is. Um, and it is a characteristic of low self-esteem. So it is something that could describe low self-esteem, right? So when the girls are saying they have low self-esteem, it's saying that they have a negative view of themselves, which very well may be true. But just because you have low self-esteem doesn't mean you have low self-confidence or low self-worth. Because in some cases, um, external forces can cause you to have a skewed perception of yourself. So if you have a drug problem, these interpersonal relationships can kind of skew that viewpoint a little bit. Um, mental health social media can give you the perception that you're not doing enough or you're not good enough when that is a lie you know what i mean like that's a lie from the pits of hell so we want to stop believing in it right now okay just because we're insecure sometimes does not mean we need to equate equate that or try to you know lower the self-worth that's already low okay so that's the difference between that um so when we get to talking about again self-esteem or self-image as a whole which is the self-concept which is those three things that i mentioned when i first started talking worth confidence and esteem this that's the self the self-image or your self-concept this is the idea that you believe about yourself and that you respond in a way to others so you're going to use those three things all together to go about yourself or about the world um and it's a more cognitive so you're thinking right all of this has a lot to do with your thinking so it's a way to think about yourself in a very mental way if that makes sense um we talk about values and principles so we'll do a whole information session on that because that's important um there's no comparison you can't compare yourself really to other people because all the things that you come up with are about yourself now they can be reinforced but this is not involving anybody else. Um, yeah, so basically it doesn't involve anybody else. Your self-concept, those three things, again, they don't involve nobody else. Can they be influenced? Yes, but they do not. They should not start. And they actually do not start with another person. Right? And that's the problem is everybody wants to do these self-esteem seminars or our self-love, this is that, and the third. But they're not telling you the real tea. Like you, the real T is this shit is, is really innate and it can't be just taught like self-esteem. Like you got to teach all three at the same time. You can't enter, you're not supposed to interchange them because they all separate things. They address separate things. So I just told y'all that basically. So yeah, we talked about self-esteem, so I won't go into that part. Now, let's do self-esteem versus self-worth. And again, just making sure you understand. Okay, mom. Understand. Because <laughs> the, the, the spirits is happy. Um, They're like, okay, bitch, you better tell them. So, self-esteem and self-confidence, again, esteem has to do with how you view yourself. Confidence is your ability and competence. Um, also, confidence, you have to have faith. Which, when we talk about, like, values and things like that, how you can, because I'm going to teach you how to build yourself up. Again, the gag is, if you watch all of these information sessions, you should be able to help heal yourself and become a better person for free. But, you know, that's up to y'all. Y'all do that. Y'all put that together on your own. But, faith. 
And it's also task related. So again, accomplishments. Confidence only has to do with your abilities um, and accomplishments and achievements. It has nothing to do with your image of yourself. So like I said, you can have high self-confidence, but not have any esteem or any worth, which is crazy to believe, but it's true. So don't keep putting, you can't keep interchanging. They're not interchangeable. They're all separate things. Um, the esteem, again, is a view. It's an evaluation of yourself, your thought process, how you think, how you feel, and believing yourself. It doesn't have anything to do with tasks. It's not assigned to a progression, which the information that is being pushed is confidence, ability, 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 but it's not addressing the view which is esteem and it's not addressing your value which is worth so the girls like i said they be trying to teach us stuff but then they don't be knowing so please be careful when you getting into these seminars or self-love coaching and all that if they're not breaking it down like this honey they they, they lying to you and they stealing your money okay so that's the difference between those two so now let's get into what everybody wants to not you know tussle about like the girls be struggling with this right so confidence versus arrogance i know a lot of people are like well i struggle with my confidence right because we're talking about your abilities i struggle with my confidence or exuding my confidence because it makes other people feel upset or it could come across as arrogant whole time they separate things right confidence as far as your ability to do things is based on your personal criteria for success right it's trying to add value to something. You should feel comfortable when you're sharing your accomplishments. You, you're just adding value to the situation, right? And it's showing that, okay, I know these things, but I can also do more. You know, how can we add to each other? Um, it's not rude or disrespectful. You being proud of yourself, your choices, your abilities, your achievements shouldn't hurt the other person right or whoever you're experiencing this or expressing this to um and you're also looking for growth so like if i'm sharing that i have 900 degrees maybe i want to get another one maybe i want to learn what you learn and then you can learn something from me so again when you leave with confidence it's from a calm place it's from a loving place and it's also from a place of let me how can i add value to this situation now arrogance here's what it is Arrogance is where we're seeking validation from somebody else, which when we're talking about our self-concept or our self, period, we don't need to get validation because we already know we, you know, that's built in because we've done the work, right? Bragging, becoming braggadocious or looking to make people feel smaller because you know more than them or you've done more than them or whatever the situation is. I never really fuck with that, but some of the girls be doing it and that's what arrogance is. Fear is rejection. Um, and it's only going to interact with people less than them. So somebody who's arrogant is seeking out people who have not done as much as them to share these accomplishments, achievements, um, and abilities with. They're not seeking out people who are up here, right? If I'm up here, then that's where I can do all this and it's not going to be a problem. The problem becomes when I'm trying to do this with people down here. Why would you do that? That don't make sense, right? The attitude of it also is it's emotionally reactive and vindictive. It's like a, a nasty response to something. Like somebody made you feel insecure, unsure of the situation. And you say, well, oh, no, bitch, because look, that's not even how we do that. If you're insecure, just say you're insecure. Just like, I'm unsure of this. I don't know how to respond to this, right? That don't mean I got to flaunt I got $900,000. That don't make sense. Like, if you don't know what the situation is or how to respond, just say that. Okay? Um, also, it's trying to hide some insecurities, which I just said, it, in your vulnerability, which obviously needs to be an information session. Because the girls be trying to say vulnerability, but not give vulnerability. Anyway. Um, so, again, it's trying to hide or move away from something that you don't feel comfortable with or you're unsure of. And then last but not least, it's trying to highlight your flaws or the person's flaws to make them feel smaller than you. Because like I said, if we really on the same level, it's not going to be bragging. It's not going to be arrogance. It's just confidence. I'm confident in my abilities. You're confident in your abilities. Let's grow. Let's work. So that's the difference between confidence 
and arrogance and how you really can't misconstrue that, right? Because if I'm confident and I'm around other people on the same um, playing field as me, I can't be arrogant because we're all on the same page. Now, arrogance comes in when I'm dealing with people who are not on the same playing field as me, right? And I'm trying to build myself up to my playing field by using these people and it comes across as nasty. And we don't want to do that. We don't like that. We don't like that. So, moving on to the next one. So, we talked a lot about self-esteem, um, which I think is important. Um, because that's the like kind of foundation. Like, If I don't view myself in a high regard, how can I express my value or my worth? Or how can I feel confident in my abilities and achievements? Right? So, that's the foundation so what it looks like in a low a cycle of low self-esteem which a lot of people get into um is negative self-talk low achievement negative perception of yourself and through others that's what you're seeking out unhelp unhappy interpersonal relationships so unhappy interpersonal relationships um and lack of self-confidence so it just you keep doing that in a circle and then you're like why doesn't this get better you know what I mean? You can exit the circle out at any time. Um, but that's what low self-esteem looks like for a lot of people. And achievement doesn't mean what society believes achievement to be. It's what you believe it to be. So if you want to finish school, then finish school. That's an achievement for you. And then you would feel more confident. But a lot of people, like I said, the girls don't be wanting to have it. They would rather be just in this circle than to do the work to get out of the circle because everything requires work um and i know that's very capitalistic because i know the girls don't like that but um anything that's worth having is going to be hard fought and i'm like no it's not it don't have to be that way i'm letting you know right now some shit's just not gonna come easy to you you're gonna have to put some effort in so with this cycle you're gonna have to put some effort to get out of it okay so when we talk about high self-esteem cycles and what it looks like for somebody who has high self-esteem is positive self-talk high achievement positive perception of themselves and from others they have rewarding relationships their interpersonal relationships and we'll talk about that at another time and then improve self-confidence so this person believes in themselves they have achieved what it is that they want to do they like themselves and other people like them too their relationships are rewarding because they feel affirmed in themselves so they can give it to other people and then last but not least that makes their confidence or their abilities grow right so it all starts with being positive with yourself you can't anticipate or want high self-esteem but don't want to do the work okay and after so many years of being in this cycle it's going to take time to reframe your self-talk to get you to the place where you can achieve the goals that you want to achieve and then feel good about yourself so it radiates to others and, you know, get back out of the cycle. But if you don't want to do the work, that's okay. I'm here for you when you're ready, okay? So last but not least, I wanted to kind of talk about how we can get it to last. Um, because I find that a lot of people with their self-esteem, if they're not doing good um, or they're not achieving, they're not, you know, growing in abilities and they're not racking up this new skills and things like that, they tend to fall back into that negative self-worth type of thing or that negative self-esteem type of thing. And you don't, you know, everything's not going to be sunshine. So you have to do some of these things to help, you know, when you're getting pulled back into that like negative cycle. <clears throat> be more self-aware. A lot of people don't have self-awareness. Um, obviously, this will be a part two um, because we need to talk a little bit about self-worth and awareness but that will come when we talk about values and like uh, all that but be more self-aware like you you gotta you, you you gotta you gotta be active um you can't allow life to happen to you that's what happens when people um are not self-aware um that shit just be happening and it's like you gotta get active okay we can't go on autopilot anymore we gotta be active um get to know yourself this is where, when I worked in a rehab, worked in several rehabs, um, a lot of the girls used to fight me because they would be like, well, Corinne, what is this? I don't want to know my favorite color. I don't need, what's my favorite color got to do with me stopping using drugs? Well, if you know yourself, 
you probably wouldn't try to escape into substance abuse. But, you know, that's a whole nother topic, which we won't get to. Okay? <laughs> we coming back for her. But the more you know yourself, the more, again, you continue to grow and you know how to go about this cycle when you don't know anything about yourself and you're on auto, auto pilot, all of, autopilot, bitch glitching, on autopilot, <laughs> you know what I mean? Self-awareness is low. You're like, uh, this is just happening to me. This is happening to me. And I'm just like, nah, like we can exit the cycle when you're ready. But if you're not ready, that's all right. Accept yourself. Acceptance is a huge part of self-esteem and self-worth and image and all the things that we were talking about today like i accept myself you know i can come on here with no makeup on no brown on if you've been on my youtube and i i was fully 100 percent okay with that i felt confident in my ability to come on here and tell you what you needed to know as in today i feel 100 percent confident to come on here and tell you what you need to know regardless of what i look like because i have accepted myself i know who i am you're not going to tell me your view of me is not going to deter how I feel about myself, right? And that's come over time. But again, I've accepted myself and I've done that over time. That's not something you're going to just be like, oh, I'm accepting myself today. No, it comes over time with practice. Realize that no one is better than you. And I think, you know, I, I, I'm very humble. I am very humble. But nobody in my mind is better than me. You know, I don't care what type of degree you have. I don't care what type of money you make. I don't care how many records you I don't give a fuck. You're not better than me. We still got to get up the same way. We still take a shit the same way. So nobody is better than you, period. Stop lessening yourself or lowering yourself to this imaginary group of people or this person because it's a dub. We all going to go to sleep the same way. We all going to get up the same way, period. Um, be authentic and 100% yourself. You don't have to do what everybody else is doing. Right. And I really am happy for the Gen Z girls because, baby, they be out here. They just be living their life. You know what I mean? They just do who they are, who they want to be. And I'm extremely happy for that. Um, and I, I would hope that older generations could get on board and supporting them because so many of us wanted to do these things when we were younger. But we did not have the support or we did not want to go against the grain. And I'm going to tell you, these girls is breaking generational curses, like the girls like to say. Because they are showing you how to be yourself and that's okay. If you want to wear black nail polish and have dip dye dreads and that's your vibe, do it. You know what I mean? It don't matter. Just do it. I'm not judging you. Be yourself. Um, look at your accomplishments, right? Accomplishments have nothing to do with school. They have nothing to do with money. Baby, when I tell you, when I get with these people, when I get to telling them about themselves, they be like, damn, Corinne, I never thought about it like that, bitch. Let me tell you. Y'all be out here doing some shit and don't even know it. Okay? The fact that if you grew up in homelessness and now you live in an apartment or you live in a home that you maintain, maintain by yourself, that's an accomplishment. That don't have nothing to do with the other shit I be talking about. That's a big fucking deal. Okay? And you should be proud to tell people that. Because that's important to your self-confidence, your worth and esteem. Okay, it's a big fucking deal. The girls be doing a lot. I'm going to let you know. Get with me, book with me, and I'm going to tell you how you've been doing it. And you're going to be looking at me like, damn, I never thought about it like that. That's crazy. I just thought I was living. Nope, you really out here accomplishing shit. Ain't even know it. Whole time. Take action. It's time to get, you got to do shit. I told you, I've been saying this. This is not for the girls that just want to say they confident but not. Do the work. It's here for you to do. I'm giving it to you for free. Do the work. Be empathetic. Um, this is very, this is, I would say, subjective. Um, do your best to kind of give people grace, but don't do too much slipping and slide. That's all I'm going to say about that one. Understanding your emotions. If you're confused about that, go ahead and check out my emotional regulations um, information session because that's going to give you everything you need on that. Self-care. Take care of yourself. Practice skills. Um, so find things that you want to learn how to do, Right? Um, and get to it. I really have gotten into my flower thing. I really love flowers. So I've gotten back into arrangements and caring for flowers and things like that, because that's something I wanted to learn how to do. And that's a skill that I wanted to pick up. So again, I'm always wanting to learn something, always wanting to do something new to add to my abilities, accomplishments and achievements. Last but not least, 
have people that you have a super confidence um inspiration um i know for me um monique for a very long time was a, a source of um confidence boosting and inspiration because she was a big girl and she was doing her thing and she was getting money and the people was fucking with her so from a very young age that comedian she really gave me the the injury to be like oh i could do that too um fanny lou hamer she is also one of my inspirations for confidence um that young lady god rest her soul that advocacy that daringness and that push to get people help in a time where people was not fucking with us like that and it was very dangerous and very fatal and she stood up and she did what the fuck she did so i get that from her you know she's somebody i look up to and she did it how she looked that was a big black woman out here getting shit the fuck done okay so she's somebody who's important to me and who if i'm feeling a little low or i'm feeling a little down you know what I mean? I would definitely look to those two women. And Monique, I still love her to this day. Um, but again, find people that you find inspiration in. Um, and look to them if you kind of down bad sometimes. Because we all going to get down bad. But we ain't going to stay there. That's the key, right? So, that's confidence. That's how we're going to do that one. That's how we work that one. Um, we are going to be back um, in a short while with um values substance abuse is coming up we have a lot of things coming up here i'm super excited i'm so glad that you guys could do this with me and we could do this together um i feel like this information should be seen it should be available widely to whomever for free um i understand that we are in a panoramic we are in inflation we are in four dollar gas honey and i'm just trying to help the people so they can have a foundation so when things is crumbling and fucking up you know you can still hit the ground running so I will see y'all. Check the link below if you want to schedule a session with me. Um, whatever is there is there. So if you want help and you want support, it's here for you. It's very affordable. Okay? So I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye for now.